What is going on, everyone? Welcome to a brand new Madden Subscriber League episode. Before we get started, I want to show off the brand new recruit. It, he is actually the first corner, I mean, the second cornerback in this whole league, Luke Adams, who's who's projected to be who's projected to be in the first round and has a mid first round talent. So yeah, congrats to Luke Adams. You're now in the Subscriber League along with many others. So yeah. Anyway. Anyway, here are the games we are going to be watching right now in week six. We're going to be watching the Falcons and the Saints. We're going to be watching. We're going to be watching this one right here. And we're going to be watching this one. All right. All right. First off, we're going to watch the Falcons and the Saints. So, yeah. If we, if we take a look at the. We take a look at the depth charts real quick for the Saints and Falcons. You know, just a little pregame matchup. So the Falcons right here. If we can just all right, the Fal the Falcons. You know, they got Baker Mayfield and stuff, who's who's pretty good when it comes to Madden Madden twenty, and you know he also has some pretty good targets on him. So yeah, but I don't know why I'm covering the Falcons. They have no subscribers. We're here for the Saints. Their wide receivers—they got no wide receivers, but you know what they do have? They have their quarterback Blaze, who is in the subscriber league. So yeah, so yeah, and he's doing pretty good. And Sal Vulcano, the 90 overall running back, is here. So yeah, that that is some stuff to look out to. So yeah, I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all there. Right, so now here we are. We are back. The Falcons versus the Saints. We are live in the Saints Stadium, which is clearly not the Louisiana Super Superdome. So yeah. All right. But right now, what is the Saints going to be doing? They're going to kick it off. They're going to return it. So yeah, we're going to jump that play because no one cares. Now we're going to be slowly watching every play. I'm going to watch every play and you know see how everything does right now. Right now, they have the ball, and they're going to pass it off to Salvacano. Salvacano, oh! That is going to be at least a one-yard gain right there. Right now, oh, they're going to, oh, they're running, they're running. Salvacano, oh! Ran, ran, for, ran for seven yards right there, that's pretty good. All right, we'll see what's happening. They're gonna run it off again. Is this time they got the first down, which is pretty good. That was not Salvacano though, according to the game. But hey, you know they gotta keep him out sometimes in some plays to not get injured, and because he's tired. You feel me? Blaze passes it off. Oh, oh, look at him go! And Blaze with the amazing 13-yard pass. Oh, Blaze has the ball, and he passes it off. Look at that. That's almost a first down. Just almost, though. Almost. Second and one. And that's going to be a first down right there. All right. This one's also going to be pretty crucial. Blaze has the ball. He's just standing there. He's standing there. Oh, he could have scrambled right there, but he panicked. So that's got to suck for him. Oh, he, he was getting he was getting lit, so he had it. So he had to throw that one away immediately. That sucks. Blaze, oh, passes that one off. Oh, no. They even lost a yard from that. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, what the hell? They get the ball back? What? How? That's 
strange. Alright. Well, they're in the end zone, I guess. I don't know how that happened. Didn't say there was any interceptions, but hey, they're in the end zone. Right now, so like Connor rushes that one in. Oh, if he didn't get tackled right there, that would have been a touchdown right then and there. Alright, right now he's trying to get everyone in place. Salvacano has the ball. Look at him go! Oh! Blaze almost threw a pick right there. That would have sucked. Blaze, they're going to pass that one off for Salvacano. No way! Come on! They're going to pass it off to Salvacano. Alright, Salvacano with the touchdown right then and there. Alright, and then they kick the field goal. Let's go. Alright, now we got to gotta simulate. Alright, change possession. No, nothing really cool. Alright. Alright, let's see how this does. Oh, oh, Salvacano. Oh, no. Oh, Blaze passed that one off. Look at that. Blaze threw a bomb right there. Alright, by the way, the Saints have the touchdown right now. So they're, in the, they're in the lead. They're in the lead right now. Oh, passed that one off again. That's going to be a first down. Blaze, he's now starting to throw dots right now in the second half. I mean, in the second quarter. That's what I meant to say. But yeah. Blaze has the ball. Oh, overthrew with it. He overthrew it. Bam. Blaze has the ball. Passes it off to Salvacano. Alright, third and six. What will happen right now? So, of course, Blaze has the ball. They have to pass it off. They passes it off, and he catches that. Look at him. Blaze is such an inspiration. Now, of course, Blaze with the check down does not work. They will gain literally nothing. So, that's fun to know. Mm-hmm. Let's see what happens with Blaze. He might throw a dot. He will throw. I mean, he will not throw a first down, but at least he actually threw it. That's going to be a two-minute warning. Blaze threw for a two yards right there. Remember, Blaze, if they don't get a first down, they can always kick a field goal and get a, be ahead by 10 points. Blaze has the ball. Look at him. Look at him go. Throws the dot. He throws a dot right there. Almost a, oh, that's almost a touchdown from Blaze. Blaze with a check down. Alright. They're almost there. They're almost there. They just need. They desperately need this. I mean, they don't really desperately need it, but they need a touchdown so they can go get ahead by a blowout. Whoa, almost getting there. No way does Salvacano get it injured. Oh my god. At, at this point, if it was just Salvacano on the team, I would have restarted the game right then and there. But Blaze is also on the team, so I guess that's something. And he throws a touchdown. Look at him go. Look at him go, man. What an inspiration this man is. Let's see that replay. Boom. He was wide open. No one, no one was even covering him. The Blaze has his first touchdown of the game. That is pretty good. 
as now the Saints are now blowing out the Falcons by 14 points. Yeah, pretty good. And shoulder strain will not return for the rest of the game. So yeah, oh, and since this is a simulation, I have to wait for the clock to run out, so be back. So, um, I had cut that part out of the video because it's honestly kind of, you know, barely did anything. Barely contributed to the video. So, right now, I just didn't leave it until we were in the end zone again. Right now, let's look at that. The backup running back, Dallas Evans, he can clutch. By the way, he was the one that scored the touchdown earlier, not Salvacano. Kind of sad. Look at him. Oh, look at him go. Right then and there. Right now, the Saints, they have the ball. Blaze has it, and he's going to... Oh, that gets deflected. No, no. No, that's got to suck. All right. They're trying... Try again. Oh, and he scores the touchdown right then and there. Look at him. Let's go. New Orleans. With the touchdown, Blaze throws another dot right then and there for that touchdown right then and there. Look at that, man. What an inspiration. What an inspiration that man is. As right now, we are going to simulate. Oh, the Falcons, they're starting to take things seriously now. They're, they scored a touchdown. And they scored a field goal. Oh. All right, we'll just wait until they're in the end zone again. Actually, it was a good thing I didn't watch that drive because, you know, they... Oh, oh! All right. Oh, they're in the end zone. All right, end zone time. At this point, I'm simulating because it's a total blowout at this point. So, yeah, that's basically all that needs to be said. But Sal is injured, which is sad. It's right now, they're back at running back, who's also having a game day right now. Right now, let's see. Oh, they're going to pass it off to the back of running back. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's starting to become athletic, man. Who is this man? Dallas Edmonds? Damn, he's also, he's contributing. Damn. Right now, as the game's on the bottom, Tennessee's absolutely blowing out Indianapolis. That's good for Chase Hawkins and Becca. Right now. Oh, Blaze has the ball. Blaze has the ball. Oh, he fumbles it. He picks it back up. Ooh, that would have that could have gone both ways. Ooh. And there's a two minute warning. Look at him go. Look at him go. Blaze, they just need the touchdown. And then that's basically a game. Oh. They tried it with the back of running back once again. Alright, third and fifteen. Third and fifteen. They're gonna run that one off again. Oh, look at him go! Oh! Oh, look at him go! With the touchdown. Touchdown Saints. The game is over at this point. At that point, the game is over. And bam, there we go. Falcons, they they took another L in the season. That's right now. I realized that the Saints, they're, I, when I was looking through it, they're actually nowhere two in their division at three and one. Well, apparently, the Bucks is leading the division at four and one, apparently. So yeah, that's fun to know. Yeah, so Salvacano was injured during that game. Let's, uh, we take a look at this. Well, he's through for 176 yards and two touchdowns. Rushing now. My man Salvacano rushed for tw 29 yards. Unfortunately, he's injured. But my man Dallas Evans, the backup, scored two touchdowns in 82 yards. Yeah, that's pretty good for him. But yeah, we, but yeah we're going to quickly go into this menu right now. And we are going to quickly see. And you know, basically, how my man, you know, Salvacano is doing right now. Because I don't know how long he's going to be out for. 
it could be it could be he could be career ending. Nah, I'm joking. Unless nah, I'm joking, man. But unless though. All right. Apparently, it doesn't say how long he's gonna be injured for. Unless unless I go to his, like, you know. Huh. So I guess he was just out for the whole game then. So he's just normal again. All right. Well, that's good enough. All right. And now we're gonna move on to the Raiders and and Vikings game to see how Nicholas Rizon does. All right, and we back. And now this time, right now, um, right now we are gonna be playing. The Raiders are gonna have a chance. Oh, this time the Raiders they are actually gonna kick it off. And we're gonna watch it slow and steady on this drive right here. See how everything does. So yeah. Right now, Rizon has the ball. Rizon throws it and he catches it. Look at Rizon, man. What an inspiration this man is. Do it for 14 yards. Wow. Look at that. And look at that. The Raiders, they're also wearing their old uniforms. So that's pretty cool. See that replay. Oh, boom. Caught that for a first down. Alright, now the Raiders, they have the ball. They're going to throw it once more. They're going to throw it, and he catches it for a first down. Look at him. What an inspiration this man is. Now, what else are they going to plan on doing? Oh, they're going to run it. Ooh, that did not do good. But anyway, about the Raiders. Nicholas Rizon is the only subscriber on this team. And right now, Rizon... How do I say this? Oh, yeah, Rizon... He, like, he's the only subscriber on the Raiders. And, like, the Raiders, they're actually number one in the division right now. They're up in the division by a win. So that's pretty epic. Rizon, they're going to throw it. As right now, that is going to be for, going to be for a couple yards. Which, I mean, they need as much yardage as they can get. Right now, Rizon's going to throw it once more, and he's going to throw it deep, and he catches it up for the first down. Look at him. Number 83 keeps catching it. So right now, it seems like they're going to run it, which, you know, got to give Rizon a break somewhat. But, you know, if I was playing that game, i just keep chucking it in as Rizon. You feel me? Right now, Rizon now has the ball. Just standing there. Standing there. Throws it in. Completely misses. Which sucks. That could have been a first. No, but I have high hopes for Rizon. Rizon's been in for been in the league for a year. And he seems to be proven as a pretty decent Raiders player. And look at that dot he threw. That was an amazing dot he threw to number 45. Alright, and now we're going to see what my man Riz Nicholas Rizon can do. They're going to run this one in. They're going to run that one in for four yards. They're almost there. If they don't make it by the fourth down, they can always kick the field goal. Oh, he tries to scramble, but Castle seems to sack him, so that's going to make their position even worse. I mean, that gives them... That seems to give them more of an excuse for Rizon to throw it in. Rizon! Rizon! That's his fault. That was his fault. They get sacked. But hey, they can always kick the field goal. And they kick it in. And he actually made it in. Let's go. The Raiders, they managed to kick it in, and right now, we are just going to be super simming. Right now, Raiders have a first down. We're just going to simulate until... We're just going to simulate until they get the red zone. I'm talking about the Raiders. I don't give a shit about the Vikings, as we score a touchdown. Rizon gets sacked again. This time, but he throws a dot to Max Wild. Throws another dot to Daniel Dockery. And we're going to keep going until they reach the first down. You feel me? 
I mean, until they get the end zone, which is the 25-yard line, I assume. And we're close enough. I mean, we're we're almost close enough to the 25-yard line. Let's just slowly walk it now. Chance of possession. We're in the second quarter. Third and inches. If I was, I love Rizan, but I feel like they should have run this one in with Daniel Dockery, the running back. Yeah, good idea right there. Daniel Dockery runs it in at the, and now they're at the 25-yard line. It's pretty good. That's a Vikings 25. Okay. So that's fun. Right now they're gonna run this one in. Oh. And that's going to be the two-minute warning right there. Alright, right now, Rizon, he has the ball. Second and seven. Rizon, he manages to throw it in. Oh, cool route right there. But that is going to be... That is going to be a third and one. They should just run this one in. But it looks like they're in the pass formation. As he throws it in, and he can and he throws in the dog. Look at him. What an inspiration this man is. What an inspiration. Right now, on, on the leaderboard right there, Miami blew out Dallas. So that's fun. Which, and Buffalo, they, they beat the Houston out by 10, which is also pretty cool. And Tennessee absolutely blew out their division rival at the Colts. Who, oh, and look at that. Rizon throws that in. For a touchdown. Eight, number 86 with the touchdown. Look at him. What an inspiration. Alright, and they're going to kick in the extra points. If they do, they'll be up by a field goal. Boom. They kick it in safely. It's pretty good for Mr. Rizon. As they are the ones that scored the touchdown. Now we are going to simulate. Oh, I don't know what happened first. Alright, so it looks like they... Oh, and Drizon threw a dot. And he threw another dot. So that's the 25-yard line. Exactly. Now, change of possession. They have 25 seconds left to throw more dots. Drizon now has the ball. Drizon throws it in deep, and that's going to be an interception. He had the ball. Dropped out of his hands. And then he threw an interception. Damn. That, that is not good. Alright. So it looks like the Raiders are going to have the ball again. So it's in 10. And he passes for 9. But they punt it? I feel like that would have been a pretty... Actually, no. Never mind. That would have been a bad field goal. I feel like they should have just gone for it, because why not? Alright, this looks like to be a not very intense game. They punt, as they always punt and get away. And he, and, you know, this is just a punt full at this point. Are we ever going to see anything? Oh! What happened? Oh, that's a penalty against the defense. Yo, this game is kind of boring, honestly. Alright, so it seems like they're running it. They keep running it in until the 20-yard line. So that's fun. Now, we have to, now they're at the line. Right here. Rizon has the ball. He has it in. He throws it in. And he manages to catch it in for first down. Look at that. Rizon threw for 228 yards. One touchdown and one interception. So that's pretty good for Mr. Rizon right there. That's actually probably his best game yet. I don't know what his best game is. Then. Right now, second inches. Yeah, that is a good idea to run it in with the running back. Ooh, but that backfires. Damn, that backfires intensely. That's not fun. It's not very fun. Third and three now. I feel like they should pass it in. I don't know why. They're gonna pass it in. They're gonna pass it. And he manages to catch it in for a first down. 
First and goal. Off on the on the scoreboard down there the Saints blow out the Falcons, so Salvatano and Blaze, that's something to look forward to. Actually no, we already played that game. What am I saying? Sorry, I recorded this game like a couple days after that game. Oh, oh! Yo, he broke off the tackle. That's not enough though. It's not enough. The, the Vikings are gonna use their first timeout. The Vikings, they're trying to have as much time as possible so they can make a comeback. That is if the Raiders even score. Oh, oh, big one, big one. Oh, it does not go in in time. That sucks for them. All right, Rizon has the ball, and he throws it in, and he catches that. But that's not enough. The Vikings are going to use their one final timeout. As they're going to kick the field goal in. At that point, just take the points already, so you'd be up by six points. Bam. Kick that one in. That's good. All right. Now, we have to wonder if the Vikings, are, are they going to pull off something miraculous? They can't do a field goal now. They have to score a touchdown. But it looks like... It looks like they might not even take it. Fourth and nine. They pass it for 12 yards. It's pretty good. 28 seconds left. Oh, they're almost there. They're almost there. And the Raiders have took the W. Look at that. The Raiders win in a low-scoring effort against the Minnesota Vikings. So that's good for them. Nicholas Rizon, at least, at least we saw him score a touchdown. It's pretty good. So yeah. That's pretty good. As that was a really good game from the Raiders against the Vikings. Right there. We don't have to. Alright. So, yeah, let me take a Let's take a look at the stats for Nicholas Rizon, then we'll move on. Nicholas Rizon passed for 233 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. So, that's pretty good for Mr. Nicholas Rizon. Alright. Now, we're going to get on to our final game of the evening. Alrighty, and now we are taking a look at our final game of the evening. This one is a very interesting match. Now, to many, this looks like a normal divisional match, but here's the thing, though. For the Lions, they have two subscribers. They have Dota Baikettes, and they have Maxwell Mendez, all right? And, yo, the Chicago Bears, though, they have a many subscribers. The first subscriber they have is Jacory Jones the second. They got Omar AirPods, which, fun fact, was go to my Kev's brother. And they got the new subscriber from the first round, Mike Hunt. So that is very interesting. Awesome. This is going to be go to my Kev's revenge game. Remember, if you've been watching season one, go to my Kev was actually on the go to, he was actually the starting QB for the Chicago Bears. But, two, but since he got injured mid season, and, and the Chicago Bears went 4-12. and 12. That basically led them to basically just dropping them. But the Lions pick him up. And now, right now, it's kind of a tr it's kind of a tricky situation right now. As right now, the Chicago Bears, they're actually the low they're actually number four in their division, which is dead last at two and three. And they're tied with the Minnesota Vikings. I mean, yeah, they're no, they're they're not tied with the Minnesota Vikings. They're actually still number four. They're still dead last in the division. But right now, we are basically gonna basically gonna show it off. Now, right now, it seems like the Chicago Bears they're dead last in the division at two and three. But the Detroit Lions they are number two in their division right now. At two and one and one, yes, they yes they had a tied game against the Chargers. Wow. Anyway, look at Patrick Mahomes right here. He threw for one thousand yards, ton touchdowns, and four interceptions. Yes, Chicago Bears 
They upgrade from Gold by Kev to Patrick Mahomes. Now, is that an upgrade? I'll let you find out. Now, we are going to be watching both of their drives. Now, who is, what is Patrick Mahomes going to do? Is he going to pass it off to Corey Jones? Or maybe he's going to pass it off to Corey Jones as he immediately gets tackled by Detroit. As right now, here, here is basically their starting lineup for the Bears. Just all line and no one's on there. But then we got all my air passes, number two, my cons at number 84. So that is fun to know. So check out for those wide receivers. Running back is number 24, Ja'Cory Jones. Patrick Mahomes was a Dr. Omar AirPods. Look at that. 25 yards from Omar AirPods. Good by Kevin's brother. Alright, right now, they got Ja'Cory Jones. Ja'Cory Jones is just... Ooh. Last time we saw Ja'Cory Jones was not really an impressive game for him, but... But, for, but if we saw in week one, Ja'Cory Jones basically blew out the Raiders. He basically embarrassed them. And the Raiders were actually doing, are actually doing pretty good this season. As we saw, they're, including their last win that we saw today, they are now at 4-1 and one and leading the division by two wins now. So that's fun. And they're trying to run it with Ja'Cory Jones. As of right now, he has a combined total of negative two yards. But apparently, Ja'Cory Jones in his debut game just embarrassed the Raiders. So that's fun. But as we all know, that is the Raiders' only loss of this season right now. So that's that's kind of it's kind of crazy. Patrick Mahomes now has the ball, and he's going to pass it off to Ja'Cory Jones. Ooh. Huh. They even lost a yard. So, that's, so that was not very good. We're not going to watch the whole game for obvious reasons. But it seems like they're going to... Punt this one away, which I would not blame them. Punt that one away. That's exactly at the one yard line. That's an amazing punt. That's an amazing punt. Yo! That punt was amazing. Don't fuck up Madden. Alright, Madden did not fuck up. Ooh, this is a risk play. Are they going to run it in? If they run it in, they have a risk of... They're running it in, and they do it safely with Maxwell Mendez. Does it for first. That's Maxwell Mendez. Last week, he had 81 yards and one touchdown. Season stats, he has 200 rushing yards in the season for Maxwell Mendez. Second in inches. Yo. Yo, the Lions, they know what's up. Oh, yo. Oh, that's a flag. That's a false start. Oh, that's on the offense. Yo, they're, that puts them back at the five-yard line. That means if Kev gets, that means if they're going to pass it, and Kev gets sacked, that's, that's not going to be good. They're going to run it in as Mendez almost runs that in for first. Third and one. Kev, he's not going to pass it in. He passes it in. Look at that. Damn. He passes that in. Even though there's no subscriber wide receivers on the Lions. That is something else. They're going to keep passing that to Mendez. Mendez, right now, he's trying to embarrass the Bears. This is a divisional game, so they will have a rematch later. But. Oh, oh and he catches that. 81 was wide open. No one was covering him on that cool route. Damn. Alright, right now. Oh, go to fight Kev. He, pa he fakes the run. He fakes the run. And he's going to run it in himself. Oh my god. He runs it that in for first down. That was 15 yards. Look at Kev. Kev is a beast. He is a beast. At him, he ran that in for a first. He was like, "I'm not, Mendes is not gonna run that in. I am gonna run that in," and that is pretty surprising. Oh, Mendes! Oh, 54 could not get that block. If he did, that would have been a first for Mendes. Right now, 
Alright, so that's gonna be the end of the first. That's gonna be the end of the quarter. Alright, now what are the what are the Lions playing on doing? They're gonna run this off of Mendez once again. Third and three. They can either run this in with Mendez or they can just pass it. This Kev. Kev, he passes that in. Oh, that was amazing. Kev right now, three and three. He is, he's on fire. Either Mendez carrying the team or Kev. He's trying to, again, embarrass the Bears. And they run this in with Maxwell Mendez. Now keep in mind, Maxwell Mendez basically carried the Lions to a conference championship last year. And he made a Pro Bowl in his rookie year last year. So that's why you should fear Maxwell Mendez. And he passed that one in. Look at that. So if I kept passing that in for a first down, Kev, he knows what he's doing on the line. Right now, they're going to pass that one once again. And... Did he catch that? He did not catch that. And fan, if he did, that would have been legendary. But he did put through it and double coverage, so I kind of expected it to be dropped. Maxwell Mendez runs that one in. Oh my god, 37 yards in total of this game. But he ran for five. Yeah, he ran for five yards. Now, what if I can? He's going to pass that one in. Look at Kev. Kev, he's going to scramble this one in. He's going to scramble that one in. And he's almost to the touchdown line. Kev, he's trying to be the next Lamar Jackson. Now, what's going to happen? They're going to they're gonna pass it. Oh, and he passes that one in for a touchdown. Bad touchdown. Lions. Damn. What an amazing 99 yard drive from the freaking Lions. You know, and the Lions would never even do that in real life. If the Lions did that in real life, the quarterback probably run out of the touchdown zone, which causes their safety. What sucks is that that actually happened in real life, but. But congrats to the Lions for that touchdown. Now we're going to simulate until the fourth quarter. Or until someone gets in the end zone. Patch Mahomes throws a dot to not subscriber though. Oh, that's my cunt though. Oh, Shakori Jones. They're at they're at the touchdown line. All right, what are the Bears gonna do? With one minute left in the second. What are they playing out doing? Patrick Mahomes. He's just gonna pass that one to no one. Who was he passing it to? Oh, like, who was he actually passing it to? Now, Patrick Mahomes now has the ball, and he's going to throw that one in to Omar AirPods right here. Now, Patrick Mahomes now has the ball, and he passes that one in. And they're going to use their timeout. Now, oh, oh, Mahomes, Mahomes. Ooh, check that one down. They're at the two-yard line. Not, no, they need to run for two yards. They're at the nine-yard line. <laughs> Mahomes now has the ball. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. And he runs that one on the run. You literally could have scrambled for a first, but you know what? All right. All right, Mahomes, I see. They're going to kick a field goal? I, I should have. I mean, if I was the Baron, I would have just... Went for it. Oh, they're faking it. They're faking it. <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious. And the Bears. Alright, guess we watching this. Oh, he throws a dot, though. But. Uh, Yo, they try to fake it. They try to fake it. It failed. It failed, though. Now we constantly gonna do watch this. They're gonna punt it back to the Bears. The Bears have another shot. 
They pass through the Omar AirPods. They pass in it. But they're going to field goal that. Which I don't blame them for. Lions. Trying to run it with Mendez. It's going successful. Oh. Five yard penalty against the defense. That sucks. Alright. Fuck it. They're there. Seven to three. Here we go. Lions have the ball. They're gonna pass it off to Maxwell Mendez. Give him five on the carry. Second down. Second and five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Second and five. They're gonna pass and rush that one in Maxwell Mendez. Juke, he's crossing up people. He breaking ankles. Damn. Maxwell Mendez runs that one in. It's not for a touchdown, but they're pretty close, though. Maxwell Mendez playing 90 yards this whole game. Oh, he's going to call an audible. Alright, they're calling. Alright, Lions have the ball. And let's go to Mike Cap, and he's going to run that one in for a touchdown. The Lions are in. The Bears at home. Damn. Look at that. Look at Cap right there. He just ran there. He just ran in. And then Mendez. What? What an amazing duo, though. They're gonna kick the extra point. Thirteen and three. Will the Bears do something? Seven. Oh, they're gonna punt that. They of course they're gonna punt that. Oh. What the? I don't know what happened. Alright, so they punted it away. Bears have a shot. They pass that in for 13. Oh, but... Oh, that's against the Bears. They tried running that. Unfortunately, pass thrown away. Oh, he actually throws a dot to Omar AirPods. And that's gonna get intercepted by the Bears. Damn. The Bears are just having no luck. Right now, there Kevin's gonna pass it, and he's gonna scramble again. This man, Kevin, nice like is just on a roll today. Let's look at Kev once again. Then he passes that one in. And he passes it to T.J. Hopkins, Hopkins, and how do you, you pronounce that? I don't know. Well, let's look at the Lions right now. Lions have the ball. They have the ball. They have it. Look at, look at Kev. Look at Kev. He's gonna run that one in. That's not a first. Second and three. Just run that in with Maxwell. That's what I'm planning on doing. Well, I, I, well, I hope that's what they're planning on doing. They're gonna pass one on for Mendez as they run that in for a touchdown. But that's a flag on who? Oh, that's a holding on the offense. And the Bears, they're going to they're gonna accept the penalty. If they decline that, if they want to decline that, oh, man. Go to my camp, though. Embarrassing the defense on the Bears. The Lions. Oh! And that's a first, though. That's a first. Oh, looks like they're going to be calling it audible. Delay of game. <laughs> Alright, the Bears, they're just trying to get them not to score touchdowns. You know what would be funny if, if freaking Kev throws a pick six right here? That would be hilarious. They're running in with Mendez, and that's going to be a touchdown as he dives right in there. 
Look at Maxwell Mendez right there. For his first rushing touchdown of the game. Like, the Lions, this game is just over. 20-3. to three, It's over. It's over. But the Bears are trying to throw dots. Alright, they're, they're like at, they're like there. Might as well. Might as well watch, might as well watch Mahomes and see how they do. And right now, Mahomes throws a dart! Look at that. They're just now picking up, they're just now doing this on the throw dot. What? No. Oh, oh, he picks it up though. If the Lions would have picked that up, that would have been over on the spot. Mahomes has the ball, and he throws it in. Oh, gets that one to the point where he drops it. No way. No way did that just happen. Mahomes now has the ball, and he throws it in, and that's going to be a touchdown. That is not a subscriber, but that is a touchdown. From the Bears. Look at that. Boom. Are they going to kick the field goal? They're going to play it safe. Now, if they would have kicked that field goal earlier, all they would have needed to do was just score a touchdown, and then the game would have been over. They're going to they're gonna punt that one away. They, they have no faith. Oh, they're... Onside kicking it, but the Lions pick that up. Lions pick it up. Game's over. Game is over. The Chicago Bears take another L in the season. They started off really strong. They started off strong with two wins, but they've been on a four-game losing streak. Damn. The Lions keep this up. They're going to miss the playoffs. I mean, if the Bears do. If the Lions, if the Lions, they did not start off really strong. But they're trying to prove that they're still in this. They're trying to, they're trying to, the Lions are trying to make another Super Bowl. I mean, they're trying to make a Super Bowl in general. But hey, unfortunate game for the Bears, though. But that is really going to be it for today's episode. Go to fight Kev. He passed for two, 121 yards and one touchdown. Zero interceptions. Patrick Mahomes passed for 215 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Rush, you know, Maxwell Mendez rushed that one in for one touchdown for 102 yards. Ja'Cory Jones, the second, rushed for measly five yards. This is the most disappointing game in his whole career. Wow. Dude went from running 100 yards in his first game to rushing for five yards in this, in this game right here. Whew. Damn. The go, go to fight Kev, though, rushed in at one in for 51 yards and one touchdown. So that's half as many as Mendez. And Patrick Mahomes rushed that one in for 26 yards. So that's him. Receiving, though, the Bears. Oh, my AirPods caught, caught the ball for 7 yards, 9 yards, and no touchdown. And Mike Hunt passed, caught the ball 26 times, but no touchdown. Ja'Cory Jones, second, caught the ball for 1 yard, but 0 touchdown. So yeah, that's basically the whole game. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.